MWR Library at Landstuhl. I'm Miss Claire, and I'm going to read Buzz Beaker and the Growing Goo, written by Carrie Meister. Buzz Beaker loves to make cool new stuff. He keeps his ideas in a special notebook. The toy store owner needs to sell more science kits. Maybe Buzz can help. Buzz Beaker loved the toy store. He loved the castles. He loved the magic sets and the train sets. Most of all, Buzz loved the science kits. The toy store had lots of science kits. They had human body kits. They had weather kits. They even had robot kits. They were all wonderful. Buzz spent a lot of time at the toy store. One day, the owner of the store talked to Buzz. Buzz, would you like a job, she asked. Buzz could not believe his luck. Of course he would like a job. Perhaps you can help me sell more science kits, the owner said. They do not sell very well. The next day, Buzz went to work at the store. The owner said, set up the kits in a way that will make people want to buy them. So Buzz did. People liked the way Buzz set up the science kits. They asked Buzz questions about the kits, but Buzz did not sell one kit. The shoppers bought games and trains instead. Buzz tried something new. He juggled five kits. Everyone was surprised. People clapped. But Buzz did not sell one kit. The shoppers bought dolls and balls instead. That night, Buzz brushed his teeth a long time. It helped him think. I know what to do, he told his dog Rags. Tomorrow I will do a science show. Then people will see how cool the kits are. The next day, Buzz told the owner his idea. Great, she said. Pick something you think will be popular. Buzz looked at all the kits. Which one should he try? Should he choose the magnets or mummies? Should he choose the light bulbs or rockets? It was hard to decide. Then Buzz saw a box that read, fun with goo. Perfect, he said. Everyone likes goo. Buzz set up a table. He opened the goo kit. He mixed, he stirred. It was ready. The goo was sticky. The goo was slimy. It even glowed. The goo is cool, thought Buzz, but there was only a little bit. He dug in his backpack. He took out a small bottle. It was his dad's special potion. The potion made things bigger. Buzz added a few drops to the goo. It worked. Soon everybody in the store looked at the goo. They could not miss it. Goo was everywhere. They sold out of goo kits in a few minutes. Soon Buzz had a new problem. The goo did not stop growing. It kept growing and growing. Goo was taking over the store. Make it stop, yelled the owner. Buzz said some magic words. Goo be gone. And it was. That day, all the magic sets sold out too. The end.